So we recently renovated the kitchen and decided to put our new clock in there. It's kind of had the same slightly modern look, which is the kind of what we went for with the kitchen. So it was a really good fit. For us, the, the kitchen really is the kind of the center of the home. It's where we have all our meals and do all our entertaining. Um, so it's nice to have the clock where we can see it, where our guests can see it. And it really has become a bit of a focal piece. So hanging the clock, it was really straightforward. So the clock arrives in a beautifully packaged box. And what was great, it actually comes with a template, a cardboard cutout, the same size as the clock. So we tried it in a few positions first, um, just with a bit of masking tape on the wall. And then when we decided where it was gonna go, drilled a hole in the wall, raw plug, and then just hung, hung it on a screw. And what I found was really useful, in the back of a clock, it's actually got a kind of V-shaped guide. So when you're putting the clock on the wall, it, it just slots into positions. I think what I like most about the clock, first of all, is the, the copper finish. So we went for the model that has the, the copper rim, but obviously the main feature of the clock is the awesome mechanical seams that, that change with the weather. But I think the fact that it's, it's often moving and changing and it's got the different scenes and the scenes are kind of beautifully designed. So it feels like, yeah, it's a clock, predicts the weather, but it's, it's almost a bit of a work of art as well, I think. Another great feature um, that I actually love to show my friends when they come round. And I, I didn't know about this when I bought the clock, but it's got a hidden demo button, which you can press. And then rather than having to wait for the weather, all the scenes change, the forecasts move on. Um, so it's really fun just to be able to kind of demonstrate the clock whenever you want. And something else actually, which might sound strange, is the clock doesn't tick, which personally I really like. I think sometimes a ticking clock can be a bit distracting if you're just sitting quietly in the kitchen, maybe doing some work. One noise it does make though, when the scenes change, you're conscious of it because it makes a bit of a, a sort of barbling noise as, as the um, mechanical scenes change. You kind of hear it and then you look around and you're like, oh, the weather's changing. So I decided to go for the, I think it's the smaller of the, the two clocks that they offer. I think the big one would look awesome if you had a really big space, but for us, the small one was kind of better for where we were thinking of hanging it. I was slightly worried about the depth of the clock, because when I looked at the dimensions on the website, it did feel quite deep. But once it's on the wall, in a way that makes it more of a, more of a feature, like it's solid, it's substantial, it's chunky. We've gone for the copper finish, and I think where it kind of stands proud of the wall, it really like shows off that copper and it's a, a really cool effect.